Welcome back. We're still talking about designing state, some rules of thumb you should live by. First, we talked about minimizing state. Next, we're going to talk about where state should live. And as you can see from this heading here, state should live on the parent. That's not a hard and fast rule, but it's a general thing you should keep in mind. We want to support the downward data flow that we've talked about in React, this philosophy where parents pass data down to children. And in general, parents should be more stateful. It makes more sense for a parent component to manage state and then render a bunch of dumb, stateless child components that just display those pieces that have been passed in as props. So we've talked about it before uh, in the original state section, the last video, or maybe the second to last video, I can't remember which one, we talked about this downward data flow. Really, really common pattern. So we centralize the state as much as possible in a parent component. It doesn't have to be one parent. Right? We can have multiple pieces that are still stateful, but we just don't want every single component to be stateful in our application if we can avoid it. And the main reason for that is that it's a lot easier to predict where things are going wrong. You can debug something if your state is more centralized. Instead of having it spread out across all of these child components, we know where to look. So if a current component is stateless and something is displaying weird or values are not what you expect it to be, you figure out what's rendering it. And then there's the state, right? That parent is what is managing all the state for these dumb child display components. So here's an example of how we could set that up for a to-do list. So if we were creating a to-do list, we might have a list of to-dos, so a to-do list component, uh, and then we might have to-do components, an individual to-do. And we could have each individual to-do have its own state, and it would manage the task item or the task name, the ID, the completed status, maybe the due date, all the color, whatever other pieces we want, they could all change. So that could all live in the state for an individual to-do but that doesn't support this downward data flow. So instead, another approach is to instead have the to-do list manage all of the state. So inside of the state for the to-do list component, we have a list of to-dos. Inside of the, the array, there's a bunch of items, a bunch of objects representing a single to-do. And then if we look at what it actually renders, it's just dumb to-do components. We don't actually give them any state. We just pass in information as props. So we're using the spread operator to do it for us so we don't have to do them manually. But the idea is we have this parent component manages all the state for all of the to-dos. And then we pass the data in to render so we can display it. But those individual to-dos are just displaying props. If we looked at their own render method, it would have you know this.props.task, this.props.done, not this.state. There's no references to state at all inside of the to-do component. Now, it doesn't always work that way. We might still have some things that need to be stateful inside of the to-do. Maybe there's uh, something we can toggle, like the display on or off. Maybe we need some state to manage animations. It's possible that there's state here. But in general, we're keeping a centralized store in the parent, and then we're using that to create and render these dumb, I feel bad calling them dumb, it's insulting, but these simple display components that don't manage state. Okay. So this is a really common pattern. We will see it and we will actually be building a simple to-do list. And this pattern will follow us throughout a lot of the course, this idea of downward data flow. So to recap, the two things we talked about with designing state, one, minimize your state whenever it's possible. Keep things as slim as you possibly can. In addition, we want to work on this downward data flow and often centralize the state in a parent and then have that parent pass that state down as props to the stupider, dumber, simpler display components.